Tipping started uh, in places where actually the employers did not want to pay, you know, like uh, the people who are coming to work. So they're like, okay, you can come and work, but your payment is going to be whatever you're going to get. Because remember even minimum mm -hmm. wage, minimum wage is not something that was there in American law. It was introduced, I believe, in the 30s. Before it was whatever we agree, Co correct. whatever I'm going to pay you. So tipped minimum wage also came into being to protect those people who are being exploited because of just being told you come and your payment uh, you, is going to be whatever, whatever you get yes whatever you. people yeah, give you yes. so that that, so. that that tip minimum wage was to it was a bump up mm -hmm. to to protect them and now you have states like California Nevada and a couple of other states there's like uh six states that have you know like that that have eliminated tipped minimum wage mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. i think all states should. They should do. Yeah. I, they should do it, and you know, you chalk it up to experience. Maybe the state themselves will reduce some taxes somewhere that will offset for the owners yeah. of the businesses. Yeah, and 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 our is asking, what is the standard of a fine dining establishment? I don't think there's a standard. I think the when, standard is the. Is what does she mean by standard? I think the wage standard. I think them. It's it's it's, it's a minimum. State. It's a minimum. Uh, no, no, it's it's, it's by the state. It's it's tipped. It's whatever the state. Yes, yeah, but it's by the state. But yeah. then and then and most of them are still on tipped. So that's why mm -hmm. I'm saying it's tipped because again you said it's six states. Yeah. So six states are doing it yeah, and restaurants so it, are still in existence. Yeah. So it's tipped. You know, with fine dining, they always have larger or consistent mandatory gratuities, which co co correct and and that's where that whole automatic thing kicks mm -hmm. in where either they'll say it's automatically will it be 20 percent or it'd be based upon the number of people in your party but you see the funny thing like when i go to ruth and chris um yeah. i i don't see that automatic uh it's there it's there let's check it it's there um i don't know you know like uh it's there i mean if you're spending at ruth chris uh spending is not an ruth issue chris, yeah? definitely, it's not an issue spending is not an issue you know definitely um, many of the restaurants in Baltimore City, like um, in Harbor East, they do have that that automatic twenty percent. Or if you're, you know, some if you're of, a party of, of like six, if you're if you're more than six or that so. are smaller, that are not, you know, big franchises, they'll have uh -huh. that as well. Um, yeah, some of these restaurants that you see, they get big on TikTok or they get big on Instagram, uh -huh. um, and they have, they even have, you know, you have to call in advance and secure your your card online for yeah. your reservation things like that so you know there are different ways of going about it but i'm but i'm interested to see how tipping culture will con has um continued in those states that have that do have that minimum wage standard mm -hmm. if tipping culture has because sometimes it's a cultural thing too so Correct. there's some people Correct. who will tip regardless of the service because there's an understanding that that is that's very, where they're making their money right that's yeah. key to this person which is living. what ali was saying however yeah. you know they're not going to do the above and beyond so i've heard you know i have a you know a five dollar minimum as long as that five dollars is not like um extremely below you know what would be a standard cr gratuity percentage right yeah so let's say you have a, a minimum, but you're not going to give them the the ten dollars or the or what you would give more generously if you yeah. felt that the service was better. You know, and 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 and, and that's where you know, like I sometimes refrain because it was also happening. Uh, you know, like where he said that in in our, our culture, people people tend people don't tip. Yes, I think you know, like there's a and and there's a tendency sometimes black people like uh, repeating that narrative. The black people don't tip, and uh, and the real, the truth is the people who don't tip are people who come from cultures that don't tip. For example, right. Europeans. But you're never gonna hear people saying that white Europeans don't tip because they also don't because they come from a culture where tipping is not necessarily a thing because uh, the restaurant workers there are paid, you know, like uh, above minimum wage. And, when you come, and it also depends to, like you're saying, in the environment. So when you, you I know I've had the experience where we're here, we do tips. And, and that's just standard. If someone helps you out, you'll give them a couple of dollars, even if it's not necessarily the restaurant um, experience. Now, when you go to Kenya... Yes. You're told emphatically... That's a, that's yeah, don't do not tip. Do not tip. Yeah, because they're on salary. 
Um, but, yes, but then also it, it also makes you a target. It also, there, there's there's some other this, nuanced this, things yeah. too. The, the other part that they tell us, other than the target, is that because we tend to do tipping based upon percentage of the bill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And if you do it based upon the percentage of the bill, and you sat down and say your bill is five thousand shillings, and right? then you're paying a thousand then, in so tips. So then, so then now we'll do you know the twenty percent, right? And so we may end up giving you know five hundred bucks, or well, maybe we'll give a thousand shillings, right? But this person is making twenty k for the month. So if you come there, five maybe thirteen. Okay, thirteen k, fine. Twenty k is too much. Okay, fine. Thirteen k. So if you come there twice with the same, you've already you're 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 pretty much given this person two thousand shillings. You come there three times, three thousand shillings. So if you come there during the duration when you're in Kenya, you may end up paying this person's salary in tips. But what you're also setting up a precedent for them, the locals, is that they're now being left with this culture that we have created for the brief time we're there. Mm-hmm. If they're the ones that slap our hands, right? When we're sitting with our, you know, our folks, we've got to visit. Wreck, They're like, what are you doing? Yeah. In fact, they'll even take the money off the table. Oh, yeah, 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 they'll yeah, take yeah, it off the something. table and put it in their pocket. Not like they'll give it back to you. They'll, yeah. And they're like, what are you doing? You're not, messing it up for us. 